Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. So it's Friday which means another galactic challenge for us so this time we're taken to the planet of Navarro where we have to face the squad of Empire namely a full Imperial Trooper lineup and to get all the best feats you need to complete it with a full team of scoundrels so in this video I'll show you the team that I use to complete tier 7 uh, but first I want to show you some mods and just, you know, cover some of the mechanics uh, for this team and uh, this Galactic Challenge. If you're not interested in that, you can just skip through to the battles. But for those that are, let's just uh, go in and let me talk you through this uh, Galactic Challenge that we have for this weekend. Now, Global Modifier, I don't know, it doesn't really do much, to be honest, at least not for you. Uh, so nothing really uh, to, worth mentioning there. Same thing, the bonus that you get is not very helpful at all, to be honest. Um, not really worth mentioning. However, Empire, they get a great, great modifier. Uh, so when uh, an Empire allies in the leader's slot, they gain extra health, extra protection. And all other Imperial Troopers, they get revived. And, you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And also when an Empire ally in the leader slot uses a special ability uh you know they again get more bonuses and assists and everything so the modifier for the enemy here is much more powerful than what you get uh, whereas global modifier it's you know it doesn't really matter now normally uh when whenever uh, there was a scoundrel feat i would just use my bounty hunters with my gear 8 mando and gear 8 grief for those of you that have been following my channel you know that that team i used many times However, against Imperial Troopers, Gear 8 simply do not work because Imperial Troopers are very quick. And at Gear 8, I wasn't able to equip my best mods on those guys, so I wasn't able to make them fast enough to outrun Imperial Troopers. Um, that's why I had to, to use a different team this time. So, no Bounty Hunters here except Bosk. However, I went with Newt Lead, uh, got Bosk there, Chewbacca, Nest and Han. Uh, so let me first show you more my mods here on Newt. Uh, just modded him for speed, so I have him at 300. He's gear 12. If he would be obviously gear 13, uh, he would be even faster. But you know, this was good enough. And why Newt, you say? Guess what? Because of extortion. Because these guys are tanky and extortion will uh, really uh, mess them up a little bit. Um, you know, so you'll get some profits and things like that. So... It's gonna be good. Good. Newt is good here. And as well, if he does get killed, you know, he gets revived as well. So that helps. Uh, the next, uh, got a uh, relic for boss here. I modded him for defense uh, and protection. Uh, there we go. So that's his armor. Because at the end of the day, he will be a, he, you, you will need somebody to taunt their little bit for you. And as well, his special attack can stun. And when he taunts, he gains frenzy. And when the other guys are using special abilities he will keep getting uh, uh, bonus turns and I got a relic 6 on Chewbacca these are just the mods I have on him anyway so he's modded for offense and then Nest here uh, now normally I have Nest modded for tenacity but for this particular event you need to mod her to be very very quick so for my testing she needs to be at least 335 speed uh, that she's fast enough to go first uh, and do her AOE here that removes their meter and dazes the enemies because we all know how to stop Imperial Troopers Daze because of all their assists Bonus turn meter gains and things like that So if you can land daze on everybody as well as remove turn meter You'll be able to get a jump start on them in the beginning. So this is very important uh, Hence why I also actually put a potency cross on her uh, Just to boost a little bit her potency there to 71% so hopefully can land those daisies a bit more reliably and then her special attack there can stun as well so that's important also and finally Han he will shoot first so can stun somebody all right so that's really all about mods and some of the key here mechanics and uh, abilities that you need to look out for so now let's just jump into the first battle here uh, and let me talk you through it that you see how I'm using this team so as it's uh, with all these ga galactic challenges, it's all about getting the opening sequence RNG right. So what you want to do first here uh, is stun Piet, because Piet he'll be gaining bonus turn meter whenever uh, you hit another Empire ally. 
a stem tick as it might be to maybe stun veers or stun um, Moth Gideon. If you do that, we'll just get so much bonus turn meter that he will straight get a turn and get all his things going. Uh, so definitely Piet here is the biggest threat because of his bonus turn meter gaining. Uh, he can counter attack and as well, you know, get his Emperor's Trap going and everything. And as well, his AoE can daze. And you do not want your Chewbacca to get dazed because all those assists from Chewbacca as well will do some big damage for you. So Piet is definitely here the biggest threat. So you do want to first stun him uh, with Han. Okay, so now we got him stunned. And this is now uh, the first bit of RNG here uh, in the opening sequence. Uh, on which guys do you remove turn meter and who do you daze, okay? So here we go. If you don't get enough daisies on board, so there you go. I got daisies on everybody uh, except the summon trooper. So that's pretty good. Um, and then the here, depend how your newt is fast. Again, see Nest was 335. So if Nest there doesn't remove any turn meter from Veers, Veers will go before your newt. So if that happens, you will want to retreat and go back in. So you need to ensure that you get daisies around the board and as well as that you remove turn meter. Uh, so that Newt can go straight after Nest. And then what you want to do is apply here Extortion on Veers. Okay. And now Veers, sometimes he will cleanse that Extortion off or he will do his AoE. Again, if he cleanses off extor Extortion, you might want to back out and go back in. Because you really want this Extortion here to start spreading amongst the team. Okay. There we go. So we lost Newt number one. Here comes the AoE. And... Remember, uh, as long as there's an Empire le uh, leader in the slot, the Imperial Troopers will get revived. So you have to take out Veers first before you can take out anybody else. So just remember that. So now here we Bosk, we can get a Taunt up. So he can tank a few hits for us. Just put an AoE. And now here with Han, you can uh, reduce his special ability to stun people. Okay, and then... Uh, we can stun here Death Trooper as well because his base he can stun also. So um, it's important to stun him as well so he can't daze your Chewbacca potentially. So with this guy stunned now, I'll just take out Veers. I almost got him. I almost got him. Here we go. More extortion. And there we go. So again here stun Piet. You do not want Piet to get a turn uh, and daze your guys, especially Chewbacca. Now let's remove some turn meter from Rage Trooper and then go after Piet now. Alright, get a taunt up again here. Alright, more extortions. As you can see, that's why it's important that uh, if Veers cleanses that extortion in the beginning that you retreat and go back again. Because uh, extortion, you know, will really help you here um, that you can get some advantage over them. And as well, extortion will do damage as well whenever... Um, uh, Newt uses his extort ability here. Okay. So there you go. You know, you're just using stuns to, to kind of keep them under control. And then extort them. Here we go. Another daze. Another turn meter removal. Ah, resisted stun there. More extortion here. Okay, there we go. So just Moff Gideon left here. So it's a pretty clean win in my first attempt here. Get a stun. Excellent. Come on, here we go. And boom. Alright, so that was attempt number one. Uh, let me show you uh, another attempt here. You want to do the same thing here, uh, which is stun Piet. Then AoE here, Days. Removal turn meter. So this time Gideon was the only one that didn't get dazed. Then put extortion on Veers. Uh, make sure he uses his AoE here that he doesn't cleanse off that uh, extortion. So then Extortion will start spreading on his allies. Here we can get a stun on Veers as well. Now Boss gets a turn because he had Frenzy. Again, stun on Death Trooper. So he can't daze anybody. Then let's just go all after Veers now. Because you have to take him out before you can take out anybody else. Okay, so they've got some uh, debuffs going here. Now this ability here uh, from what uh, will actually remove debuffs, so you can use that whenever they get some uh, buffs on them. Here we go. Let's throw down on AoE here. So Virs is out, so now we can go after Piet. Just keep spreading that extortion here. There we go. 
Almost got Piet out of the way. Get a taunt up again with Bosk. Come on, Piet. Come on. You know you don't want any part of this, so there we go. Let's get a stun on the range trooper here. And because Death Trooper and Age Trooper did a stunned, just decided to go after Moff Gideon here. Alright, uh, he resisted the stun here, come on. Uh, Chewbacca stays there, so no assist from Chewbacca unfortunately. But the days uh, went away now, so Chewbacca will be assisting again, here we go. Come on. Come on Gideon, there we go. So just a case of that, taking Death Trooper out and the Summon Trooper will just disappear. Alright, let's do this third and final time. So let's again start Piet here. And then Daze, remove turn meter. Get a extortion on Veers here. There we go. Come on, get a taunt tab, excellent. Keep going after Veers now. One hit, two hits, come on. Okay, let's stun a range trooper there. Oh, did he dodge? I think he dodged, didn't he? Man, all right, so we got Veers out of the way. Let's go all out on Piet now. Here comes the AoE from Death Trooper, another AoE from the other trooper there. Ah, no stun on Piet, okay. This one isn't going as clean as the first two ones, come on. There we go, get that extortion going here. All right, can we get a stun now, maybe? Let's stun a range trooper there, because he was about to take a turn. Oh, oh, all right, so this one's a bit messier. All right, let's remove that uh, protection up here, get an assist from Chewbacca. Throw down an AoE, there we go. There we go. Stun Gideon there. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go after Death Trooper. We don't want any of his days. Landing on our Chewbacca potentially. Here we go. Another AoE. More days. Turn meter removal. Another stun there by Nest. Okay. So this one is pretty much over now, I think. Because the other guys are in red. So just working on Gideon now. Uh, there we go. Throw down an AoE and boom. And there you go guys, this is how I completed this Galactic Challenge, uh, actually in both of my accounts using the same team, it works very well. Obviously, as you know, with all these Galactic Challenges, you may need a few attempts just to get that opening RNG sequence right, but as soon as you take out Veers and then Piet, you know, the battle is pretty much over. So I hope you find this video useful, let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.